Okay, uh, so uh, welcome back to everyone to our, um, whenever these videos go up, uh, like anime discussion or just cartoon discussions in general. Um, last time we went through Goron Lagan and uh, Lewis was the helm for that. And uh, now we're going to be talking about New Game. And uh, since I uh, watched this one time before, uh, with, before I watched it with Lewis, I'm going to be taking the helm for this one. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit different since the new game is a little bit more, well, it's a lot more uh, laid back, and going to just mainly be focusing about the focusing on like the characters themselves. But um, again, if you don't want to hear any spoilers or anything like that, I would recommend like watching this video later. Uh, uh, and go and binge just both the uh, season ser yeah, seasons that are out at the moment. So yeah. And hopefully we'll get a season three, but that's a topic for another time. Um, Very much. But yeah, uh, for those of you who are sticking with us, a new games basically about um, uh, Alba Suzukaze, who just he just uh, went out of high school and uh, is uh, going to work at Eagle Jump, and she ends up meet, uh Working on a sequel to one of her favorite game series, which is Fairy Story, and yeah, which, what was it? Was it was a third one, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Fairy Story Three, and uh, it's basically just a general like premise. Like she, she's part of the art uh, department, and most of the most of the anime focuses on them, um, with like one other character that is part of the motion team, but is with the 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 uh, art group. Because the the uh, motion team like ran out of space or something like that, I think. Um, but yeah, ge generally the the show is like, um, think of it like a high school high school slice of life kind of anime, but in a different like work kind of environment, and uh, it's an interesting change of pace for that sense. But it's also kind of. Kind of have, gives you a familiar feeling if you enjoy those kinds of like high school anime, um, and you know, you know, like uh, there are there aren't a lot of like animes that I can think of that go like try a slice of life in a like a work environment or like um, something different that's not high school. So. You know, it's it's uh, it was nice to have that kind of change of pace, um, and I don't know the the ge the general like story is is just like like Albert and the eagle like eagle jump in general like have to try and like work together to make the game, and uh, it's pretty pretty self explanatory, um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> not not much to really say about that uh but you know when you when you watch when you want to watch these kinds of shows it's mainly to do with the characters and uh i i'm not i'm not sure if i'd uh, call new game one of my favorites but uh the i do like the cast of characters uh and uh you know, we'll mostly be focusing on talking about them uh so I guess to start with, um, what do you think about what do you think about Alba, like the main character? Okay, um, huh, I think she's very. At the at the uh, yeah right, <laughs> and then at the beginning of the series, she comes off as very curious, fresh faced, and everything like that. Yeah, just like sort of. Like half naive, half savvy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But overall, she is a very friendly kind of uh, girl. So yeah, she's she has like a friendly, like kind of personality. Yeah, definitely. And um, yeah, that's all I can really say. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like, I like. She's so, she's sort of adorable, though. I must admit. Yeah, like the uh. The characters in general, like, uh, are pretty, like, have, like, in a, like, a cute kind of <laughs> design going on, which is, like, I don't know, I like it. 
And they, uh, Alba and, um, uh, her friend, um, was it, uh, Sakura? Like, the, the show, the show constantly, like, makes fun of the fact that they look younger than they actually are. Uh. It can be said for every single, uh, um, for every single uh, character in the actual anime, though, to be fair. Yeah, but like, uh, it's like, uh, uh, what was it? Um, you with like he for me specifically, like uh, apparently she's supposed to be like twenty three or something, which is not something you'd expect by looking at her. But to be fair, if you if you know a lot of pe uh, pe half of the people I actually know, it wouldn't actually come off as surprising to have somebody like that be at uh, twenty three. <sighs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I I was a pretty um, uh, likable character, and uh, very very like determined. Like there's uh, stuff that happens li uh, later on uh, where like I think it was in season two where like she has to um, try and do a competition with uh, Yagami to be like um, the art director on a certain project. Yeah, something like that, and, um, yeah. They're both very competitive. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, but it's, the, the, but after the uh, competition, it obviously ends up being, um, uh, because uh, Yagami is, like, um, more experienced, uh, so. Yeah. Oh, also, um, just... Uh, I may as well just make this like a, a disclaimer, like we're probably going to be like just jumping around a lot just because of the nature of like a show like this, so uh, we might end up just kind of going back and forth between seasons one and two, so if it gets a little bit disorienting, like apologies in advance I guess, but <laughs> it happens. But yeah, I guess like j since we're like just brought up Yagami, like, um, she's basically, like, the, uh, lead character designer, I think, for Fairy Story 3. I don't remember if that's the case for the other game. Uh, wasn't Al- wasn't Alba the character designer for, um... Fairy? No, Fairy the, uh, the Season 2 game. Uh... I forgot what the season two game was. It's like that that plushy thing. I forgot the name of it. <gasps> oh, the one with the little uh, the bears. Yeah, that was fucking adorable. Uh, I want that. I want that game in real life. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if we can just like in terms of like just like adorable stuff, can we like just like quickly like go over like the um, the openings and endings like. <laughs> I, especially with season two, like they're really like well done, and uh, the season two ending is a particular favorite of mine. Yeah, like the chibi kind of designs and stuff, and like how they the characters are like like uh, walk towards the camera with like the bears in the background and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like I, 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 I just I just like cute chibi designs like that. Same. Uh, and the uh, season season two season two's like uh opening song uh is um also really catchy. It, I have a it's one of those like instances where like I don't want to skip the intro because I like it so much. Uh, the uh, season one opening was fine, but it doesn't really compare. I think. <laughs> if it, there's some kind of like it's a mixture of the style and the animation itself uh, yeah. I think when I can uh, safely say that uh, an opening is weirdly hypnotic yeah and uh, it's just like really mesmerizing like yeah it, it just uh, 
puts you, it get makes you like hooked and want to like uh, just keep watching stuff like that. And I don't know, I, the the general like a uh, beat of the opening song and just it, it just has this catchy tone to it and uh, I don't know. I, I like it. What else can I say? <laughs> Uh, but, um, yeah, so you know, um, like, uh, Yagami and, uh, Rin, who is the, um, the art director, um, and how, like, there's totally something going on between them, or at least, well, y Yagami is completely oblivious to, like, uh, Rin's feelings, but, like, there, you, there's, there's clearly something going on there. Oh, yeah, man. definitely. It's like, uh, fuck. it's one of those pairings where you sit, you, you just spend the nearly the entirety of the show when those two are together, just thinking, get a fucking room. Yeah. And like, I think like in season two especially, like they they made it like painfully obvious. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I, I'm okay. So like, uh, this isn't gonna be put in the uh, actual video, but I'm just uh, as we're doing this, I'm just reading through notes, and um, I put here Yagami and Rin are one hundred percent ship confirmed. <laughs> At this point, if I don't see if season three comes about and that's actually a thing, I would not be at all surprised. I think, in fact, I think I'd be more surprised if they weren't a thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I like they just like season one was like kind of, kind of slightly teasing at stuff. Season two was like, okay, yeah, we we knew we made like all these different ship hints. Let's go mad, and then season three actually like. Di like actually dips down into it properly. <laughs> uh, it's like it, it, it's just a season where every ship comes true. <laughs> I mean, th this uh, this is definitely not like a um, was it like a any kind of romance show or like a romantic comedy or anything? But they 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 sometimes uh, try and like. What's the term? Uh, ship. <laughs> they they try and make you want to ship characters sometimes, I guess. <laughs> uh. So, do you want to talk about how he for me is the best girl and must be protect? Yeah. Um. He for me is the best girl and should be protect. <laughs> oh man. I just. I don't like. I know something about. I remember like, you were telling me some uh, a little bit about it uh, uh, before we even started. And I'm like, uh, okay, I have yet to see this, and I was like, yep, I get it, I get it. What did I say? I can't remember. It was something to do with here for me. I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, but she is she is best girl. She is best girl. At least in uh, as far as new games concerned. No. Just every yeah, just every show. <laughs> it's just something about her, like uh, something about her, like shy and personality, like definitely. <laughs> it's like the 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 fact that uh, she like tries really hard to try and like talk to other people, and then like after after all said and done, she just goes back to her like uh, computer and just like collapses on the desk. It's like, oh no. Uh, also, uh, D that's the doctor's voice. <laughs> and she has uh, a pet hedgehog, which is also adorable. Uh, I don't know. Oh, she also like um. There's that one scene. I forget if it was season one or two, but uh, she goes to I think the the uh. The nurse, uh, with um, couple of the other, couple of the other uh, co-workers, and like, 
I think it was a general checkup. I forget the details, but she was like freaking out so much. Uh, and uh, I don't know. Those kinds of cats, you just, you just, they must be protected. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and then there's uh, Hajime, which is like the complete like polar opposite, pretty much. Where like she's um, really like energetic, uh, and uh, she's the uh, the weapon girl, right? Yeah, she's the one that likes buying like props, like the uh, lightsaber kind of thing and stuff like that. Uh. Oh, I didn't put it. I I didn't put it down here, but uh, um, she um, I forget the th thing was specifically, but um, she's like a fan of this um, like anime show or whatever, and like it's constantly like uh, referenced uh, throughout the show. Um. <laughs> oh man. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Is it that one that, uh, with the, uh, uh, um, which they go and see live? Yeah, yeah, is it, like, Requiem Shoot Go or something like that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it is that one. I can't remember the phrase specifically, but yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, also... <laughs> Uh, he for, he for me also um does does um uh cosplay as well, and like oh my god, it was <laughs> so he didn't need like if you needed more reasons to love he for me there you go. Like you need just more than one reason. <laughs> yeah, but um also uh Hajime is the uh, is the um girl that is. Part, part of the motion team, but yeah, she's part of the art group. And ends up hanging with the, uh, yeah, ends up hanging with the art group. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because, like, the the show in general, um, uh, is mainly focused on, like, the art side of, um, game development. Um, and a little, a little bit of the motion stuff, but it's mainly, uh, the art thing, uh, but, yeah, there's, like, tons of different size to game de development, so trying to focus on too much would just, just sounds like a mess. Oh, that, uh, there's, um, Yumi, Yumiko, I think that's how you say it, uh, who, who's part of the, uh, crow, uh, part of the crow, that's a word, that, that's a thing, uh, it's part, it's part of the programming, uh, team, <coughs> and, like, <laughs> Man, you rem you remember her, right? She was the uh, one that plays like likes the uh, airsoft weapons and like constantly. Um, what was it? Um, I guess what's the word? Um, she con she constantly um kind of like threatens um the director. Uh, you know, from from just like ch uh, changing like core elements in a in the game. So, oh like, yeah. They constantly have to change the code. And she and she always berates her for it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> just like Umiko in general, like when she's there, like tension just skyrockets. Uh. Do you have any? Like, remember any, like, funny, like, key moments? Yes. Well, vaguely. It has been a while since we've actually watched it. Yeah. Off the top of my head, like, right now, uh, I'm, I can, I can remember that one scene where I think it was her and Alba who go in that open field of sorts. <laughs> and, like, practice airsoft uh, and like shoot targets or something like that mm. and then 
I, I, I've, I'm not sure if it was the same episode, but it was like Umiko and uh, uh, Yagami going through like a duel. That was pretty entertaining. Mm. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It has been a while since I've seen it, so. Yeah. Just bear with me. Yes, yes, okay. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of, like, hogging a lot of the talking in this, to be The honest, thing is, though, well. you're saying everything that only needs to be said, because I agree with you on a lot of things, so... <laughs> uh, well, if you... Um, I'm going to try and balance this out. Uh, do you want to talk a bit about uh, Sakura, uh, Albert's friend? Oh, yeah, she's... Uh... You know, like that one friend that's just like, um, always there, a little bit loud, a little bit energetic. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Denny Sakura is basically a dat to Alba. Pretty much. And I like that. Uh, uh, she ends up like, uh, like beta, te- beta, beta testing the game, and it's kind, ca- it's kind of um. Sweet in the sense that she she just like wants to be like she uh, wanted to be uh, she wanted to make sure that uh, uh, her best friend was okay. Yeah, she wanted uh, her friend to be like uh, in a good environment and like not uh, being treated badly and stuff. And I don't know. It, it, it's like that's 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 kind of sweet. And the fact but, that then it, she... but then it turned it turned into a little bit more than just that though. It turned yeah. into a it turned into a bit of a uh, art, mini arc for herself uh, yeah. to be able to uh, to prove that she can be useful. Yeah, and then she ends up uh, trying to become an actual like programmer at the uh, company, and. Yeah, and she has, she makes a little her own, her own little uh, game out of it as well. Yeah, <laughs> Eagle Jump should should have just commissioned that. <laughs> yeah, I like the that um yeah she like uh, gets like a test um project from um Umiko to make like a maze or something like that, and there are some like hilarious glitches that happen um like <laughs> the. I, like I think one point the ball just goes up in the sky as like I need to go my planet needs me <laughs> uh, and like the ball just spazzes out as soon as she gets to the end <laughs> uh man I feel like I think in general like the I already have like mad respect for like game developers but like a show like this like really just hits the hits at home the the fact that you have you have to put in so much like uh, like blood sweat and t- tears into trying to make the game you want to make and like I don't know I, f- I think this I I say I don't know too much I'm sorry <laughs> I, I I I like the fact that um a new game in general does a good job of just uh, showing how much like work people have to put into like make it j- just make a good game in general, and you know there's a there's a lot of uh, things that happen like behind the scenes and uh, I think yeah I think uh, I think in general like gamers nowadays just kind of take. Uh, Take things for granted. Yeah, take take things for granted too much, and don't appreciate appreciate uh, just developers trying their best. Cause like even even when there's a game you may not like so much, you have to like think about how you know there, there's like a whole group of people who like put the the like energy and soul into making it. It's when you think about that, you look at games like Smash Brothers Ultimate that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine uh, people like Sakurai in in that in their sort of position, and then you. 
Yeah, it's crazy when you like put things into perspective. And the fact that apparently he's like lost a bunch of weight while uh, by working on the game. And he's just like, nah guys, I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, dude. I'm worried, really. Yeah, he needs a vacation. Like I feel, why well, Fenzo actually literally putting himself out making this game? Yeah, he needs like a give, give him like a two year vacation after this. Uh, like who cares? Just Nintendo, just yeah. give the give the man a fucking raise, or mm. give him enough for him to re actually retire because he because he's got. I'm pretty sure he's got a wife. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's uh, married. Like I'm pretty sure all the all they all the time that they spend together is just developing games, and they don't get enough time like yeah. for themselves. Because I think yeah, I think Sakurai's uh, wife develops the uh, menus for the games. Yeah, but I know. Uh, going back on new game though. Uh, so how how about the best character, uh, Mosaku? <laughs> Mozaku, fucking hell. I mean, okay, okay, folks. Like, uh, if you if if you followed the old uh, uh, C channel for a while, uh, Harry's probably by now displayed his uh, a fixation for all things feline related. Yeah. So so when Mozaku comes on, you can probably imagine how he actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's just I love the way the sh the show does it. Like there's like tension going on, or like like something's happening, and then he just cuts to Mozaku and just like, well, <laughs> just so, yeah, just something random with something random. Mozaku, Mozaku. Oh man. Oh man, it's like I. <laughs> Uh, there's a there's a scene uh, in s the la the latter half of season two where uh, it's like there's there's uh, two new uh, two two new workers that come in uh, yeah. and and like w when they I think like when they leave uh, to somewhere like he for me just runs over with Mozaku and just like this this is the master of eagle jump. <laughs> And then, and then the, there's like no one there, and you just hear, hear him go like, "Meow." <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like kitties. Yes, you do. <laughs> like kitties. Is it, it almost a little too much? I don't even know if it's healthy. <laughs> uh we're coming to near the end of this, though. Um, are you just? I don't. Like I don't have much too much to say about the uh, two characters uh, that come at the end of season two, because but... like they're both, um, they're both in it for like a short while, like halfway to, uh, halfway after season two. Yeah, and they don't have enough. Uh, they they don't really give give us enough time to really uh, like connect with them. Yeah, because they. Uh, they when they come in, it's like near the pretty much near the end of season two, like a little bit uh, past halfway, and uh, they kind of they kind of have to quickly um, introduce them, and um, and like one of them has like this problem going on with with the fact that um, like if if she can't like get a place at e Eagle Jump like. Uh, permanently, then she has to like take over her family's in, um, and like, yeah, I think in general, like they just needed more time to develop the two characters, because as it, I mean, as it is, I do, I do, I do like them for what they are, but yeah, they they just didn't have enough time to really do much of them. I think. Yeah. Like I think the most if, the, the, if they do a season three, then hopefully that that'll yeah, that'll come with a uh... yeah. And uh, I think the most uh, like just the mo the the uh, the scene I remember the most is when like there's like a spider going around 
their apartment, and they're just like freaking out. Uh, the two characters are um, um, living together, by the way. So. And then there's uh, there's Alba and uh, Sakura's um, other friend from high school, but I didn't really write anything about her because she cut. She kind of just appears for a few scenes and doesn't really have any actual focus. So, yeah, I didn't really have much of a reason to talk about her, to be honest. Um, but besides that, that's pretty much all the major characters. Um, so, like, I think in general this this um, show has a pretty good, uh, well-balanced cast of uh, a, lot of a lot of different personalities. Um, like, you have, like, Umiko, who is, like, very serious and in into, like, military stuff. Um, there's he for me who's, like, really shy and needs to be protect. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, uh... You have Sakura, who is like, like, that really, so <laughs> the really like energetic friend and like etc etc and like I I think that I think it has a pretty good set of characters and again if, if yeah very very well balanced I think and if they make a season three, uh, which I hope they do, um. Yeah, I think I think in general all I all I'm asking for um main what I'm asking for mainly is for the two new characters to get more uh screen time. Uh, but besides that, um there's at the end of season two, like I'm going into like heavy spoilers right now, so um yeah, you've been warned. Uh You have been warned. At the end of season two, like uh Yag Yagami uh, goes to France, I think. Yeah, Paris, I think. Yeah, Paris, uh, Paris, France. Uh, to work on, like, just try and stretch her wings, uh, per se. And uh, yeah, that that's basically where the show has left us right now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where season three goes. Like, if it if they'll spend like. Uh, say a few episodes or like maybe half a season like without Yagami um, which will be an interesting like change of pace like change the status quo a little bit see how like the characters try and f uh, cope without her or if they'll just do a jump cut um, but to when she comes how long did they say that she was going to be uh, gone um if any uh, while we while I look that up, uh, you just can you uh just uh say like what you think about the show like uh, like as a whole like just what do you think? Well, it, your game is very cutesy, if I was to be honest. Yeah, it's like one of those kind of feel good kind of shows, like. Even with all the emo even with the emotions towards the end of the, uh, and uh, some of the emotion behind the backstory, it's, just, it's all very general to feel good because of uh, how much they'll care for each other and shit like that. And it's also, the art style is very nice. Yeah, I think it has a good. I think it uh, looks pretty good. Yeah. A pearling art style. Uh, it doesn't... I'm not finding anything concrete. It's just telling me that she goes to... She's, she's now go, uh, she's now gone to Paris. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, it pro they probably say it in the episode somewhere, but I'm not finding anything on Google right now. Uh... Hmm. Oh well. If we find anything before this, this uh, before editing uh, happens, I'm pretty sure Harry will put it up on screen right about now. Yeah, I'll try. It. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find something. But uh, yeah, it's basically all we need needed to say about the show. Uh, it's a it's fun fun show. Uh, 
I, I like the characters. Nice appealing art style and the, the. Uh. It, it, I, I, I like I like the fact that again it makes you appreciate uh game development and um. It has some like good good messages to, uh, for like just being when it comes to like just being friends and stuff like that and it's a good show uh she if she wants if she wants something uh cutesy and uh like just very light hearted and just kind of just chill in general then I'd recommend new game it's a it's not really a huge investment uh, to get into it and uh, I think you'll, if you're in, especially if you're into like slice of life kind of stuff, I think it, it will be, um, I think it will be a good fit for you. So, yes, this. Unless you have anything to add, I I'm pretty much worn out all my uh, commentary. Eh, uh, I'm not going much to add except from what I already said. It's it definitely it's definitely worth the watch if you've got it got the time for it. Yeah. Or are you just interested in the mood for a slice of life anime in general? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd agree with that. Um, so I guess with that, um, uh, thanks for watching, uh, everyone that's stuck with us. Um, and Poor um, souls. <laughs> uh, and um. Yeah, next time we're going to be talking about Angel Beats, which is good. I'm passing the baton back to Lewis because he's a lot more um, experienced, let's say, for uh, for this anime. So, well, yeah, I'm hoping that I do a better job than I did with Goron. To be fair, yeah, well, this uh, can't expect to be uh, perfect in your first run. Not really, but this will be. Uh... <laughs> Well, this will be my second run, so... Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, f again, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good night. And we'll see you guys Bye. later.